Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this problem. So determine the sample size of the given data. So we have the standard division, the margin of error, and the confidence level. Then to solve for the sample size using this formula, the confidence coefficient times the standard division over the margin of error, then quantity to the power 2. Then take note that the sample size always round up and using this confidence level table to solve for the confidence coefficient. So to find now the sample size for this given, so we have n equals the confidence coefficient. Since on this given, the confidence level is 95% and 95% for the confidence coefficient that's 1.96. So we have 1.96 times the standard division. So the standard division is 6. Then over the margin of error. So the margin of error, that's 0 0.5. Then to the power 2. So to solve now for the sample size, so we have 1.96 times 6, so 1.96 times 6 equals, then divide by the margin of error, that's 0.5, so divide by 0.5 equals, then to the power 2, so to the power 2 equals, so the sample size is 553.1904. Since sample size always round up, so therefore the sample size is 554. So we have 554 for the sample size. Then for this given, so we have n equals the confidence level is 98% and 98% the confidence coefficient, that's 2.33. So we have 2.33. 33 times the standard division, that's 5, then over the margin of error, that's 0 0.4, then to the power 2. So to solve now for the sample size, so we have 2.33 times 5 equals, then divide by 0.4 equals then to the power 2, so to the power 2 equals, so the sample size is 848.26. Since round up, so the sample size is 849. So sample size is 849. Then for this given, so we have N equals, so the confidence level is 99% and the confidence coefficient that's 2.58. So we have 2.58 times the standard deviation, that's 8, over the margin of error, that's 3. Then, quantity to the power 2. So to solve now for the sample size, so we have 2.58 times 8 equals, then divide, divide by 3 equals then to the power 2 equals to that's 47.33. So again, always round up. So the sample size is 48. So sample size is 48. And for the last one, so we have N equals confidence level is 85. So the confidence coefficient, that's 1.44 times the standard division, that's 10. Then over the margin of error, that's 5, then quantity to the power 2. So to solve now for the sample size, so we have 1.44 times 10 equals, then divide by 5, equals then to the power 2, equals, so the sample size is 8.29, then round up, that's equal to 9. So these are now the sample size for every given data.